Good morning, children. How are you? Okay, fine. Now today we have our English class. Okay, and I am here to teach you English. My name is Lakshmi. Lakshmi Ajay. Okay. Now, in our previous class, we have already seen the first lesson. We started the first lesson, isn't it? Tom and his two. You, I'm sure that you have got your textbooks. This is your text, isn't it? You got your textbooks. Now, today we are going to see the continuation of what we learned in our previous class. Name of our lesson was Tom and his tooth. So, name of our lesson is Tom and his tooth. Now, before we start off, let's uh, uh, deal with something that we already studied in the previous class. That is the characters that we saw in the story. In our previous class also, we saw the slide with the, where we had all the characters. We have three characters in the story. Tom Sawyer, Sid Sawyer and Aunt Polly. Who are the three characters? Tom Sawyer, Sid Sawyer and Aunt Polly. Now who is Tom Sawyer? Tom Sawyer is actually the main character in the story who is a very mischievous and imaginative boy. He is of uh, 12 years old. Okay, very mischievous, very naughty and very imaginative. Then we have another character, Sid Sawyer. Now who is Sid Sawyer? Sid Sawyer is Tom Sawyer's cousin. Okay, and uh, what about him? He's, uh, he has a good behavior, but at times he enjoys putting Tom into trouble. Okay. Then you have another character in the story and that is Aunt Polly. Aunt Polly is Tom's guardian who is a very simple and kind hearted person. Okay, very simple for a lady. Now, let's see the continuation of the story. Now, in our previous class when the story began, we saw that it was Monday morning. And Tom Sawyer was lying lazy in his bed. He does not want to wake up. Okay, why? He is lazy and he is lazy to go to school. So he is thinking of excuses which he can give in order to skip from going to school. Now let's continue with the lesson. Tom began to groan louder and louder, trying to wake Sid up. But no, Sid wouldn't. Sid was Tom's brother. Finally, he cried aloud. Sid, wake up. I am dying. So what is happening now? See, Tom began to groan louder and louder. Tom's voice is raising. What do you mean by groan? Groan means to make a loud sound because you are worried. Okay, especially when you have tensions, worries, you groan loudly. So that is what Tom was doing. And why is he doing like that? He is trying to wake Sid up. He wants Sid to wake up from his sleep. But what about Sid? He will not. Okay, he is still lying lazy in his bed. He does not want to wake up. But no, Sid wouldn't. Sid would not wake up. Sid is Tom's brother. Now finally, what did he do? He cried aloud. Sid, wake up, wake up. I am dying. I am going to die. Come on, wake up. Okay, he started saying that loudly. What happened, Tom? Now, this sound, when he started to grow, it made Sid to wake up. Okay. And then he asks, what happened, Tom? And then he says, shall I call auntie? Don't bother. I will get better, Tom said. And groaned. Don't groan like that, Tom. Since how long have you been? Feeling like this? Asked Sid. So what is the next conversation taking place? Now this Sid just woke up from his sleep. And he is asking, what happened Tom? Why, why are you crying? What happened to you? Are you not well? Shall I call auntie? Should I call uh, our aunt Polly? Should I call her? Huh? 
Are you okay? What happened to you? Shall I call her? Then what is Tom saying? No, no, don't bother. Don't bother. I will get better. No worries. Nothing is going to worry me. Don't bother about it. I will get better. I am sure that I will be okay. Don't bother. And she, he said like this and he went on groaning again and again. He groaned again and again. And what is Tom, when he see, hears this sound, he is again asking, Don't groan like that, Tom. Don't groan. Don't make that sound. What happened to you? Since how long have you been feeling like this? Asked Sid. How long have you been feeling sick like this? Huh? What happened to you? Why, how long have you been feeling like this? He went on asking. All night. But I know I am about to die. And I am glad for it. Sid, I forgive you for everything. I forgive everyone. Then dead. Dead? Yes, Sid. Tell Aunt Polly that I forgive her for beating me. Give my cat to that new little girl, please. Okay. So another character is introduced, but you don't find that character here. You're a new girl. Okay. So what is he saying now? Sid is worried and he is asking, how long have you been crying like this? How, how, how long have you been feeling sick like this? And then uh, Tom says, all night or oh, the whole night I was in trouble. I was crying. But I, and I am sure that I am going to die. See? But I know I am about to die and I am glad for it. See what he says? He says, I'm happy that I'm going to die. All night I had been suffering, but I'm sure I know I am about to die. I'm sure that I will die very soon. And I'm happy about it. I'm glad for it. Sid. And then what is he saying? Uh, continuing. He is, uh, he's not, he has not completed his conversation. He's continuing. What is he saying? Sid. I forgive you for everything. I forgive everyone. I don't feel bad for anyone who have hurt me. Okay. I'm happy with everyone. I forgive everyone. Sid, I forgive you for everything. I forgive everyone. When dead. See, Where, what is he highlighting there? When I am dead, when I die, I forgive everyone. I'm not going to. Uh, be, take revenge upon anyone. I forgive everyone. When dead. Now when he hear this word, what happened to Sid? Sid is surprised. He said, dead? How can you say like that? Dead? Yes, Sid. Tell Aunt Polly that I forgive her for beating me. And then he is continuing. He, ha he has something to be conveyed to the aunt. What is he saying? You should tell Aunt Polly that I forgive her for having beaten me. I have been naughty and I have. Uh, she had uh, scolded me many times. She had even beaten me. And I forgive her for everything. Okay. So S said, tell Aunt Polly that I forgive her for beating me. Give my cat to that new girl, please. That is a request. Don't forget to give my pet cat to that new girl. So that girl, the name of the girl is not introduced to us. There is a new, there is a girl there. And uh, what is he saying? You should give my cat to that girl. Now hearing this, Sid is surprised. He felt sad. And what does he do? Sid ran downstairs crying. Auntie, Tom's about to die. See, you can, you, here you have the picture of Sid climbing downstairs. And what does he see? Auntie, Tom's about to die. He's, when he's howling, he's very tensed. 
and he ran downstairs to inform this to the auntie. What? He stopped dying? Aunt Polly cried. I don't believe it, she said, rushing upstairs. Now she is shocked to hear this. Okay, when, uh, when Sid said Tom is dying, she is very much shocked. And what does she say? What? Is Tom dying? No, no, I don't believe it. I cannot believe this. She said, and what did she do? She started to run upstairs. Okay. What? Is Tom dying? Aunt Polly cried. I don't believe it. She said, rushing upstairs. So she started to run up. And then she goes near Tom. Okay. What happened, Tom? Aunt Polly asked in a curing voice. Oh, auntie, my toe, it hurts. Really? Let me take a look. That is what she says. Okay. So she is very happy at this at, uh, for a moment to see that Tom is there awake in bed because she heard that uh, uh, from Sid, she heard that Tom is about to die. So she is so sad and she's so su surprised to hear this. And so she screamed and she ran upstairs. Okay. And now she sees Tom and she goes near Tom and what does she say? What happened Tom? Aunt Polly asked in a curing voice. Now what is curing? You are worried, isn't it? What, do you find? what is the emotion of the auntie? She is tense. She is worried. So she is shaking because of the worry. She is trembling. Her whole body is shaking. So Aunt Polly asked in a very curing voice. Oh, auntie, my toe, it hurts. Oh, my toe, it hurts very badly. Huh? It pains me. Really? Let me take a look. Let me take a look at your toe. What has happened to you? Really? Let me take a look. Aunt Polly put on her glasses and checked Tom's too. What did she do? She took the glasses, she kept the glasses and she checked Tom's too. Suddenly, she began to laugh and cry at the same time. There's no problem with your toe, she said. Now get out of bed and get ready for school. Okay, so what has happened now? Aunt Polly kept her glasses and she checked Tom's toe. She is so happy. She, she does not know what to do. She does not know whether to laugh or whether to cry. Suddenly, she began to laugh and cry at the same time. At the same time, she does not know what to do. Whether to cry or to laugh. There's no problem with your toe, she said. What is your problem? Nothing. Huh? There's nothing wrong with your toe. There's no problem with your toe, she said. Now, get out of bed and get ready for school. She becomes angry and she shall ask him to get ready and to go to school. Now, get out of bed and get ready for school. I don't want you to lie down like this. Be smart. Don't be lazy. Come on, get up. Get out of bed and get ready for school. I don't want to see you lying in bed like this. Come on, get up and get ready to go to school. Okay, so in this story, while we were going through the story, we saw that Aunt Polly is trying to, at first she is trying to be very compassionate, thinking that she does not know whether this, uh, something has actually gone wrong with Tom or whether he is perfectly okay. We don't know. So she is uh, so tense that she runs up, she climbs up the stairs, but then... See, she understood that it was nothing. What, about, what was the toe? What was the injury? We saw that in the previous class, isn't it? We saw that it was just a small injury, a small pain that he had and there was uh, no medicine applied on it. That is why he thought of giving this as an excuse in order to skip the school. That was what he had in his mind. 
but of no use. Okay. So just uh, recollect what we saw uh, in this page. Tom began to grow louder and louder, trying to wake Sid up. But no, Sid couldn't. Sid was Tom's brother. Finally, he cried aloud. Sid, wake up. I am dying. I am about to die. Come on, wake up. And we saw the meaning of the word groan, which means to make a loud sound because you are worried in worry. What happened, Tom? Sid asked. Shall I, or shall I call auntie? Don't bother. So what happened, Tom? Sid asked. Shall I call auntie? Is it necessary that I should call her? Don't bother. I will get better, Tom said and groaned again. Don't groan like that, Tom. Since how long have you been feeling like this? Asked Sid. How long have you been feeling sick like this? Asked Sid. All night. But I know I'm about to die. And I'm glad for it. I'm happy that I'm dying. Say, I forgive you for everything. I forgive everyone when I'm dead. Dead? Yes, Sid. Tell Aunt Polly that I forgive her for beating me. Give my cat to that new girl, please. Remember to give the cat to that girl. And now hearing this, what happened? Sid ran downstairs crying, Auntie, Tom's about to die. What? Is Tom dying? Aunt Polly cried. I don't believe it, she said, rushing upstairs. What happened, Tom? Aunt Polly asked in a curing voice. Oh, auntie, my toe, it hurts. Really? Let me take a look. We saw the meaning of the word curing, which means shaking because of worry, because of tension. Your body sometimes shakes, isn't it? Aunt Polly, what did she do? She put on her glasses and checked Tom's toe. Suddenly, she began to laugh and cry at the same time. There's no problem with your toe, she said. Now, get out of bed and get ready for school. So she wants Tom to go to school. She understood that Tom was trying to skip the school telling lies. And she wants Tom to get ready for school. Okay, I hope you have understood the lesson. Now I want you to read through the lesson till what we have completed. Just go through and see if you have understood. Okay. And now here's a short assignment for you. I don't know whether you are already, you are doing the assignment. Uh, in the previous class also you were given an assignment, right? Now I want this assignment to be done on a notebook other than your English notebook. So you can keep a separate book for English. Uh, that is one for, yeah, one as English notebook where you can note down the question answers. And another notebook where you can write down the assignments. Okay. So this is the assignment for today. This is there in your textbook. Why do you think Aunt Polly laughed and cried at the same time? We saw towards the end, isn't it? See, suddenly she began to laugh and cry at the same time. Both active, when she sees that Tom is perfectly okay, she does not know what to do. Huh? She starts, sometimes it seems as if she's going to laugh, sometimes it's as if she's going to cry. So, our question is, why do you think she laughed and cried at the same time? We're crying and laughing at the same time. Okay, so you can write your own ideas. Uh, actually, it is because you can, uh, this layer, on Polly has understood that uh, our Tom is perfectly well, he's just acting it out in order to skip the school. Huh? He is lazy and acting it out so as so that he does not have to go to school on a Monday morning. So that will be your answer. So you can just put it in your own words and note it down. Clear? So why do you think Aunt Polly laughed and cried at the same time?
clear hope you have understood this much the rest of the portion we will be dealing with in our next class okay